how much to give obviously uh, the newborn baby stomach is small and it's a very interesting point i mean uh, in terms of i'll make it here because we still have five more minutes uh, in terms of the baby's feeding pattern nature has evolved in a way the breastfeeding doesn't go from zero to 60 in one day the volume per feed but when we are giving the formula milk or when we are giving uh, additional support we expect to give uh, 30 ml on the first day 60 ml on the second day so breast milk actually only increases say 5 to 10 ml on the first day and the baby starts getting 20 30 ml by three to four days and if a mother is expressing like 25 30 ml by third day we are very surprised because that's a good volume and that's what the baby is going to get when they feed and there is a reason for this uh, it's related to epigenetics it's related to pre-programming so if you give too much too early the epigenetic expressions change and it may lead to higher risk of future problems like obesity diabetes and so on the other important problem the immediate effect is that the lactase enzyme is not well developed in the newborn and once the milk uh, lactose gets exposed there is upgradation of this enzyme level up regulation happens and over the first week the enzyme gradually increases so the load that the baby is exposed to should be gradually increased so even if you are giving top up feeds for any reason don't give the prescribed volume i mean uh, we are aiming to give fluid balance of 60 ml per kilo per day on day one by tradition when the baby gets admitted to the nicu but when baby is on feed you don't necessarily need that unless the baby is hypoglycemic so